Now then, I'm just mixing up some balls of clay. This is recycled, mixed. So it's got some Tetford in and some home and probably some Frisney as well. So that's about 210 grams. And I've got some Boston, not Boston, bright and white here. It's a little bit stiff, but 230, we want less than that. Yeah, that's 210. So I'm going to mix these two together. It sort of changes the colour and the texture of the whole lot. And I'm not quite sure what this bright and white is, but I'm starting to think it's a, a commercial clay of some form. But it's got bits in it. Well, it's bits of organic matter really, where it's been stored. So it's probably reject clay or something like that. But it does lighten everything up. Instead of a terracotta red, you get a sort of a pinky sort of I don't know, that sort of colour. Anyway, I'm gonna add 40 grams. Hopefully I've got enough in this bowl. Yeah, 40 grams of very fine sifted sand. Yeah. Extra grog. And I found that that does several things. It makes the whole thing a bit stronger. It actually makes it slightly easier to throw on the wheel. And it dries quicker. Yeah, and according to Andy Ward, it also makes it uh, more robust in the kiln. That's Andy Ward of Andy Ward's Ancient Pottery. It's a YouTube channel. It's quite interesting. Yeah. From Arizona. Anyway, so I'm just working this in now. And you think that's a lot of sand to work in. But it actually just disappears in there, which is quite remarkable. And because this is very fine sifted sand, I've sifted it through various sieves. Yep, picked out all the bits. The main thing is don't use beach sand. Definitely not, because you'll have bits of shell and stuff in there. And I found that. Uh, what happens? Once you've fired something and blazed it and fired it, after a while the carbonate, whatever it is, of the shell or anything like that tends to um, pop, expand and then it pops bits of the glaze off. So be very careful not to have any lumps of white whatever in amongst uh, the grog. I mean they talk about it grog being crushed up old pottery. Yeah you'd want it you'd want to crush it up mighty fine. So this is just spiral kneading. Right and let's just zoom down on that and you'll see that although it was that colour and that colour and some sand. It's a smooth and even texture now. There we go. And uh, I'll do several of those and um, then get on with some throwing. Right, let's see how we get on.
there we go. Comments, discussion, catch up with you soon. Cheers for now. Another day and I'll put the handle on it.